As a builder, we decided a number of years ago to label and rate all of our homes. So we give this information to the customer so that they feel more confident that they are moving into an energy efficient home. As a mechanical designer, when I worked with the builder, um, we took into all the aspects of this, of this uh, home. It's an energy efficient labeled home. And we did all the calculations uh, with the CSA F280 heat loss heat gain methodologies. So by using the decision guide, it helps uh, control the process of thought and provides decisions that we can make as a team. So the outcomes that we found by using the guide and then also eliciting the information that we get from the me mechanical designer, right sizing the equipment, as I mentioned before, is very important. The other thing too is to take, take value of the windows that we use make sure that we get credit for the fact that the types of windows that we're using are reducing the amount of solar gain or heat gain that we have in the summer. By doing a proper heat loss heat gain calculation on a house, we're able to uh, address the re heating requirements and the cooling requirements of the individual rooms in the house. We use software that's approved uh, to do the calculations to the CSA F28012 method. So it's not a cookie cutter, one size fits all. It's a custom process that we work through with the builder. We work through the guide, uh, piece by piece, decision by decision. This paired with the heat loss calculation and the duct sizing, we get a consistent design between every time that we build the same model over and over again. And secondly, it also helps us when we do have new contractors involved, that we are producing the same design, same ducting sizing, same mechanical equipment, that we have for every one of them. If we're ending up with smaller ductwork, we don't have to give up as much square footage of the house for our mechanicals. We are able to, on uh, many of their plans, uh, reduce the air conditioning load by uh, about a half a ton in, in average. So that ended up translating into smaller costs for the air conditioner and it influenced our ductwork and our ductwork was not, uh, didn't have to be oversized. So with proper size ducting, we're going to be able to deliver the right amount of energy to those rooms. With proper sizing of the furnace, we're going to end up having it run appropriately. And the end result for the, uh, for the consumer is a comfortable home and the benefit to the builder is uh, less callbacks, no complaints about the cooling and heating of their homes.